Hello YouTube! In this video, we are having a DPS showdown between a C6 Nivellet and a C6 Arlecchino. Now, before you ask me, Stry, you don't have a C6 Nivellet, so where did you get one? Well, I have a friend called Anna and she let me borrow her C6 R5 Nivellet once again, so thank you Anna. Also, another note while we're on that topic, Anna's Nivellet is C6 R5, whereas my Arlecchino is only C6 R1 in comparison. Also, I will be showing the final builds and everything towards the end of the video, so do look out for that. Like every other challenge showdown video, this challenge also needs a set of rules, so here are the rules, guys. Rule number one, we will be fighting against some normal bosses, some weekly bosses, and probably some local legends. In terms of normal bosses, I'll be going with Arlecchino and Nivellet solo, whereas we Weekly bosses and local legends I'm allowed to use full teams. Number 2. Pre-casting and pre-stacking is allowed in team battles. Number 3. No food buffs are allowed. Number 4. Elemental resonance is however allowed. And finally, the disclaimers of this video. This video is meant for entertainment purposes only. My run with new Valets and Arlecchino could have been definitely improved with further tries. However, I gave them a few shots and I chose the best one. So with that being said, always remember this video is meant for entertainment purposes only and you should take everything with a giant cube of salt. Our first boss is the Dorito or Simon, whatever we want to call him. Now, over here, the fight is very much favored towards Arlecchino because she can technically nuke the entire boss fight in single rotation, whereas the Valette deals consistent amount of damage overall to dispose of the boss. Next, next move on to our next target. So, our next target is our favorite war criminal, Raiden Children. In this battle, my Arlecchino was able to dispose Raiden Shogun in 16.78 seconds, whereas Nuvolet was able to dispose Raiden Shogun in 16.41 seconds, which is, in my opinion, a very close time gap. However, I feel like my runs on both Arlecchino and Nuvolet could have been a little bit better, but what can be done? Moving on to our next target, our favorite toy maker from Snejnaya, Mr. Worldwide, aka Child. Alright, so disposing the Toy Maker was not a very difficult task for my new and Arlecchino. However, this is a multifaceted boss fight, which is technically a little in Arlecchino's favor since she can use her nuke to completely get rid of the second phase and move on to the third phase. Moving on. Next in line, we have Razor's Lupico, Andreas. Before I started this fight, I thought Nuvolet is technically gonna win this battle because he can technically preset his entire rotation and they can just dish out enough damage for the wolf slot to die. Whereas Arlecchino would not be able to nuke out the first phase, but it turns out it's quite the opposite. Nuvolet's consistent damage is not enough DPS to technically defeat the wolf lord in a single cycle. I tried it multiple times, however, it just didn't work out for me. Whereas Arlecchino completely obliterates the Wolf Lord in this a single string of attacks. Next in line, we have our favorite local legend, Liam. Alright, so Liam Battle is also another one of those battles which is highly RNG dependent. But overall, both Nivellet and Arlecchino performed really well and we can call this one actually a tie. 
Next we have is the Abyss Floor 12 top half. Now this Abyss Floor 12 top half is highly catered towards hydro DPS such as Nivellet. But even then, my Arlecchino still put up a very strong fight. I realized something while I was doing this Abyss run, is that Arlecchino's runs are highly inconsistent when it comes to them. Because you have to be extremely careful when you're doing rotations with her. She has a high chance of dying, whereas the bullets runs were highly consistent and very close to each other when it comes to the time duration. I realized that because I did about 18 different runs one night, so yeah. But yeah, overall, they performed extremely well and I will be putting forward the results in a tabular sheet and I will be putting it towards the end of the video, so keep an eye out for that. So let me explain what exactly happened there. Arlecchino had a very solid advantage of 2 seconds in the floor 12-1, floor whereas Nivellet overtook Arlecchino in 12-2, and Arlecchino again tried to make up for the difference in 12-3. So overall, Nivellet did become the victor in this particular Abyss fight, but the Abyss was also favored towards him, so I guess it's a win-win. Alright, so I will leave the decision up to you guys. Finally, it's time for the Bills. Here are the builds of my Arlecchino, Bennett, Kazuha, and Chingcho. Pause if you need to. All of my characters except Arlecchino were using very free to play friendly builds. So yeah, I don't think my Bennett, Kazuha, or Chingcho are any state of the art builds, so it should be very easy to replicate. Here are the builds of Anna's Nivellet, Farina, Baiju, and Fischl. Pause if you need to. I must say that Anna has improved on her Nivellet build from the last time, in case you guys forgot about it. And yeah, her free I see too, it's a very solid account if you ask me, so I hope you enjoyed it. So finally, here's the table of time taken by them in seconds for every single boss slash domain. I've also left some notes on their side, which technically was meant for myself, but I guess you can look at it. So what's the verdict, if you ask me? I will say, if you really like Arlecchino, go for Arlecchino. If you like Nivellet, go for Nivellet. Arlecchino has a playstyle which is high risk and high rewards. She has an insane amount of DPS potential which is heavily front loaded, whereas Nivellet is a very consistent damage dealer. His runs were more consistent than Arlecchino runs, so that says something. I mean, he's just a great DPS unit overall. And paired up with Furina, he becomes unstoppable, whereas Arlecchino is a glass cannon. If you die on Arlecchino, it's a reset for the domain. I hope you keep that in mind. At the end of the day, the purpose for this video was to have fun and just see how they fare against each other. So I hope this video served its purpose of entertainment for you. With that being said, look after yourself, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.